so easy. Hi, my name is James Powers and I'm a freelance DP based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The Orion 300 FS is a very capable light and there are four easy ways to control this light. You could operate this light using Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or DMX protocol. Come on! I want to show you how to control this light using nothing but a tablet running Blackout software and a pretty inexpensive Wi-Fi router along with a few cables. If you're new to programming lights in DMX and learning how to code, it can feel a little overwhelming because sometimes it's a little tricky and that's totally normal because it is absolutely terrifying. But if you follow this step-by-step -step walkthrough, you'll see that it could actually be very convenient and incredibly easy. We have streamlined this setup process into three easy steps. Step one, program your tablet that's running blackout. Step two, set up your Wi-Fi router. And step three, programming the ballast of the Orion 300 FS. We will begin by adding a DMX profile for the Orion 300 FS into the blackout app. Connect your tablet to the internet so you can download these DMX profiles. Open Blackout, hit Login Later, create a name for your project. Click Save, tap your new project and add a new location. Name your new location and click Save. Tap your new location and this opens up the main user interface for the Blackout app. We still need to download and add our DMX profile. So tap Patch, select Add Fixtures, select Add Fixtures from Database, and this is why we needed to connect our tablet to the internet first. Scroll down and select ProLight to access the DMX profiles for the Orion 300 FS. Select Orion 300 FS. To get the most out of our light, let's scroll down and select Mode 27, and click Patch. Hit Save. This profile occupies 24 DMX channels. Select OK. To get back to the main screen, select Channel View. Congratulations, not only did you download a pre-made DMX profile, you've already uploaded and programmed the DMX profile into Blackout. In this next step, we will set up our Wi-Fi router. Plug in your router's power supply and power on your Wi-Fi router. Plug in the Ethernet cable into the orange LAN port on your router. And plug the other end of that Ethernet cable into the ballast and turn on the ballast. Open up the settings on your tablet. Select the Wi-Fi network your router is generating. When your tablet is connected to a network, you will see a green light under Link Status in the Blackout app. Step 3. Program the ballast. To enter the main menu, press the Menu button. Scroll down to Network Settings and press in on the selector knob to enter Network Settings. We need to assign our light a DMX profile, and to do this, we will enter DMX Settings. Where my dog's at? Select DMX protocol mode to access all of the DMX profiles for our light. To get the most out of our light, scroll down and select Profile 27. This is the same profile that we have already programmed and loaded into our tablet running Blackout. The DMX profile we have selected uses 24 DMX channels. To view or modify these channels, enter DMX address. We just want to confirm that the DMX address here, 1 through 24, matches the same DMX address we've assigned on our tablet running Blackout. Since we don't need to change anything, press the selector knob and back button until you get to the home screen on the ballast. Because we are using the Ethernet on our ballast, we have to turn on the Artnet function as well as confirm the Artnet universe. Hit the menu button and select Network Settings. Scroll and select Function on Off Switch. In the Function menu, select and press Artnet. Highlight and press Turn On. In our last and final step, we need to confirm the universe Artnet is running. Scroll and select Artnet Settings. In Artnet Settings, scroll and select Universe. 
Press the selector knob and the zero should turn green. This is active, meaning you could change the number, but we are gonna keep our setting at zero. Press the selector knob to confirm your setting. Congratulations! You should now be able to control your Orion 300 FS through your tablet running Blackout. Remember, there are several ways to connect to your Orion 300 FS. Visit ProLight.com and click on the Media Center page for more instructional videos. Now you should feel confident running the Orion 300 FS using a tablet running Blackout software. And I hope you feel a little bit more comfortable using DMX and ArtNet protocol. This is the Orion 300 FS by ProLight. ProLight, light done right.